So in case you haven't heard, and we sort of knew this um, a long time ago, but there will be a Mockingjay Part 1 and a Mockingjay Part 2. And this was confirmed on, I don't know when it was confirmed, sometime last week. Part 1 will come out on November 21st. 2014, and Part 2 will come out on November 20th, 2015. Um, so the big topic of conversation has been where will they split the Mockingjay book? So let's get to that in a second. But first, I've seen a lot of people, believe it or not, complaining about this. The majority have definitely been in favor of the split, but I have seen a good number of people saying, this is stupid, why does every franchise have to do this, Twilight and Harry Potter did it, why are they doing it, <laughs> Mockingjay, nothing happens in Mockingjay. So before we talk about where they might split it, I thought it might be nice if we just sort of talk about why they're splitting it and why it's a good idea. Courtney, you're such like a movie expert. You live in L.A. You're like an industry insider. Um do you think that splitting Mockingjay is a smart decision? I think it's a mandatory decision. I think um, that, I mean, I've I read Mockingjay like ten times, and I've taken notes on it, and it's, I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of flack for saying this, but I think out of all of those franchises that this is the one that needs it the most. Um, Harry Potter did, but I think they they might have been able to condense it. I am I am kind of on the border with that, but I know that Mockingjay for sure needs to be split, or otherwise it's just gonna be it's not gonna be the Mockingjay story at all. You're not you're gonna lose all of the Finnick moments. You're gonna lose just so many things that that contribute to the overall story. I don't really understand why some people have been saying that nothing happens in Mockingjay. I think because... those are the people that have only read the book, like, once. Because anyone who's read it at least, like, three times realizes how much <clears throat> happens. And there's, like, yeah. there's like what, like, six action scenes, like, big ones? Yeah. And, and also, and this is something that, Ter Teresa, you and I were actually tweeting about this back and forth in the midst of our nostalgic yeah. Harry Potter one-year anniversary tweet session mm -hmm. <laughs> on July 15th. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I know you were saying, and I completely agreed with you, that not only does it make for a, a much better split than Twilight did, um, and then this is no, not even anything against Twilight, um, it's also the fact that, as they demonstrated in the first movie, that they're willing to show more angles and because of the, uh, this first-person perspective in the books, there's so much more they can do with the movie. I really think, and if you want to elaborate this on, Teresa, this is an opportunity to actually take Suzanne Collins' vision and make it even grander over the course of two movies in a better way. Is, is there logic in that, would you say? Oh, definitely. I think um, the one thing that they showed us in the first film is that you can still go outside of Katniss's vision and still stay, you know, and, and create new scenes that add to the storyline and help, um, especially people who haven't read the book or haven't read the book as much as other, you know, other fans have. And I think there is a lot um, that, I mean, I, Mockingjay is my favorite book in the series, and I still think there is a lot that can be added to this that can broaden um, away from Katniss's perspective things that we can see that we wouldn't see otherwise. And I think that it, it'll just open the world up a little bit more. Um, I mean, Mockingjay, I've always said, is, is a thinking book. It, you're, you're inside Katniss's head so much, and you're experiencing what she's experiencing. But um, on a film scale, we, you know, without voiceover, you can't do that. You know, you can't do um, so much of what's going on in her. So you can open it, you know, as they did my Hunger Games, is open it up and do a different way to show that perspective and to show what's going on, um, to show outside of District 13, to show the rebellion, to um, to really, like I said, just open it up and, and uh, allow us to experience more of Panem. I totally agree. I mean, I know I tweeted that to you, but 
let me just say publicly, I, I'm really on board with your way of thinking here. And I just think, don't, this is what I, I would caution listeners. Don't, I, I know Breaking Dawn Part 1 was not reviewed very well. I'm not even casting an opinion on Twilight as a whole. But you have to admit, not a lot happened in that first movie. And it seemed like a storyline that didn't have enough life to merit its own movie. And I think that was one of the big complaints. I just don't see that same problem happening here with Mockingjay. There's plenty of material to go on. Um, and and that's what I think a lot of people are, are afraid of. Does anyone else want uh, to share an opinion on this? Just jump in, anyone who has a, a strong thought. Um, um, well, I just wanted to mention, too, I, I think a lot of people forget that, you know, Hollywood is, like a business i mean they need to make money they're they're out to make money so doing two films will ultimately get them more money and i think a lot of people forget about that or they think it's a bad thing but it's not i mean you know they 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 have to earn money these are these are their jobs so you know i don't i don't think we can fault them for being interested in in that aspect of it Actually, that's no, why I was initially a little peeved like a year ago when it was first brought up. Not so much because I was against the idea of there being two movies as much as I was against the trend of, well, let's see how much more cash we can get out of this, so let's make a right. two movie. And there is a whole lot that happens in Mockingjay, and I realized that. But at the time, I thought... You know, there's a whole lot that happens in some other movies, too, and yet they still fit in into, it would be a long movie, but if it were like a three-hour movie or a three-and-a-half-hour movie, they could do that. And I still kind of think that, but I'm totally okay with the idea of the split now, where at first I was I was kind of aggravated with the idea. I thought it was just, you know, Hollywood trying to get its extra cash in. And I don't think, I think that that's their main motivation. I think I think that they feel that it needs to be split, but I'm sure it's part of it. Look, and you can't yeah, really blame definitely that. one of those rare times where splitting it I think will improve. Not that there not that Mockingjay was a bad book. I really enjoy Mockingjay, but something and I don't know if this is true, Tracy, you can correct me because you're the expert on Suzanne Collins, but that she has a very specific method in writing and all of her books mm-hmm. are kind of, they're the same amount of pages with the same amount of chapters. And because of that, I think there's spaces in, in Catching Fire, but in, especially in Mockingjay, where there is a huge information dump that really could have been expanded over one or two chapters Um and I think having two movies will allow all of that information, the space to grow and kind of feel like, oh, my God, now we don't have to have Katniss explain to us in a two-minute monologue what happened when um, we we can actually see it. So I'm really excited to hopefully see, you know, the rescue play out um, and, and some of those other scenes where we only hear about it. Uh, and I think it'll it'll do a lot for Mockingjay and people who might not have enjoyed the book. I think will enjoy it on screen. Um, basically, I, I feel like Suzanne Collins wrote screenplays anyway. Um, it just didn't have a lot of room because of her method to flesh out everything as completely as it could have been. So I think two movies, Mockingjay should have been two books. So I think two movies will suit it very well. <laughs> 